Hello guys. Why did that sound so weird? I don't mean to say hello, I say hey or hi. But anyway, um, today we are going to be testing out the Emreezy palette. So this is in collaboration with Emreezy, obviously. Um, this is the Anastasia X Emreezy palette. This is how it looks here. It is very, very beautiful. And I'm very excited. I'm not really sure what we're gonna do today, but I'm thinking something like, I really wanna take like, like a glitter on the um, lid and then like do some glitter on the outer corner or something. Cause there seems to be two pressed glitters in here, I think. And one of them is called Gemini and I'm a Gemini, so. Okay, so I'm just gonna zoom you in. I've primed my eyes already with the Anastasia eye primer i've got on my anastasia dip brow gel no i don't <laughs> on my anastasia dip brow and then i also have um colourpop no filter concealer and just my anastasia um brow gel okay so we're gonna get into the video this palette is beautiful um if you wanted to get your hands on it i'm currently running a giveaway and I'm 99% sure that it should be still up by the time this video goes up. Um, so I will link, leave a link below to the video. I mean, to the um, to the giveaway if you wanted to have a chance at winning your very own Amrezy palettes. Okay, we have a very big problem because literally none of my brushes are clean. <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. Like, this may be an issue. This one looks like it could do, maybe. It's got a lot of green pigment coming off on it, but maybe we can fix it. Okay, I'm just trying to think. Oh my god, I just realized I've got a palette, I mean a brush in the palette, duh. Okay, um, let's take, I'm gonna take Semsa, I think that says. I don't know what that says. Um, and I'm gonna put that on first. Okay. Semsa is going on first. This is gonna be like my all over shade. Just this very pretty, like, purpley pink color. I actually really, really enjoy this palette. I think it's very beautiful. I wish brands wouldn't make limited edition palettes. Some people um, don't like the formula of Anastasia eyeshadows, but I think they're one of my all time favorite formulas. Like I can never fault them. Whenever I go traveling and stuff, I always um, take like my soft glam palette and my modern renaissance just because they're very reliable palettes. They have very, um, like very nice staple colors for everyday looks and stuff. Like I just, I really like the formula of um, Anastasia eyeshadows. Okay, so I'm kind of gonna leave. Like I don't want to bring the color up higher than that. I've been so good with my filming lately. I went through a stage where it was so hard to film, like where the thought of filming just, you know, it was so, like to actually get up and film took so much and like I filmed every single day for the last like a week or so and it's just good I feel like it's one of those things once you get in the routine of filming it's just it comes so much like easier and I feel like that's when I do like my best looks and stuff because I'm just like used to just smashing them out and you know I feel like I feel a lot less stressed because I know that I have so many videos filmed and that I can take my time and that kind of thing like I feel like I really do my best when I'm like filming consistently and that's why I also really like to upload every single day because it kind of stresses me out when I've got like looks sitting there from like a couple weeks ago like I'm like mm, I need to get them out before I don't like them anymore or before they're not relevant um so yeah uploading every day is just it's really good it just works well for me so Cause yeah, some people are like, how do you do, how do you upload every day? And I feel like it is, um, it takes a, like, 
takes dedication and stuff, but the thing is, I find it a lot easier to upload every day than um, I found it to upload like three times a week. I found that so difficult. And I found that I would always be like, um, being like, oh, sorry guys, no video today, post it tomorrow, kind of thing. Like, because if it came down to it where I was like, oh, you know, I need to get this video edited, like, because it needs to be up tomorrow, I'd be like, oh, I can just upload it like the next day. Like, whereas now, because there is no next day, it's like, well, I'm uploading every day, so, you know, I need to get th these videos out every single day. It's like, I don't know, I feel like it just pushes me to do my best and stuff and it just doesn't work well okay so now this is the edge of that color i'm just like um doing a little bit of blending just so it doesn't look um you know patchy and stuff or unblended we know how much the world of instagram hates an unblended eyeshadow look <laughs> i might take a bit of 19 88 this one here um and put that like in the crease kind of just for a little bit of definition i'm not bringing this one up very high at all i'm just leaving it kind of in the crease so far pretty impressive to palette like i didn't I feel like sometimes, like with these kind of palettes, you can you can't already go into the video knowing it's gonna be good. If you know what I mean, like um, on the rare occasion, like the subculture and stuff. See, I wasn't into makeup when that whole subculture thing happened. So, um, but that was like you know a very um, what do you call it, like a kind of one-off with it. And Anastasia eyeshadow was how it was bad. Like it's not like I'm reviewing this, be like not knowing if it's gonna be good or bad. If that makes sense. Like I kind of I know it's gonna be good. If that makes sense. But it's just more playing with the palette and seeing what I can do. And you know, make an off chance that it's bad. If you know what I mean. But these kind of videos are never really a review because I kind of already go into it knowing that it's gonna be pretty good. I'm gonna take a tiny little bit of the black shade. It's just called BK. This scares me a lot, but we're just putting it in the outer corner. And I'm just putting on the tiniest bit. Oh, I can't remember if I said or not, but we're going to do a cut crease today. So that's why I'm putting the black on now. So that if any mess happens, that it will be a bit easier to clean up. Yeah, I'm just blending it now. Now I know you're probably looking at this being like Sis you made a mess on your eyes But Give it time okay Give it time Alright I'm gonna go off camera I'm gonna do a cut crease And then I'm gonna be back I'm just gonna use my normal um, No filter concealer in Fair Zero Zero So yeah I'll do that and then I'll be back Okay so we ended up covering up Covering up pretty much all of that brown So there's pretty much no point doing that, but no, I feel like it added a little bit of definition. I don't care. It was fun to do. <laughs> okay, so now is the hard part of choosing like a glitter. Well, I was thinking we could take like the gold called dragon and then putting one of the glitters on. So that's dragon. I feel like that would look pretty, wouldn't it? Look at that shimmer, that's so beautiful. Okay, so yeah, we're taking the shade called Dragon. Wow. See, this is what the shimmers I was talking about, like in that, in the um, big like Norvina palettes, the shimmers just aren't Anastasia quality, I feel like. They're obviously, it's like they're the, the pro pigment palette, so I don't know if that's why, but this is the quality of shimmer I love from Anastasia. So yeah, we're just going to put the shimmer on first. And then we can put um, like a glitter on. 
And do you guys think, no, you can't even answer me. LOL. I was gonna say, do you think we should do liner? But then I realized you guys can't, can't talk back unfortunately, so that would be cool though. Good. <laughs> I feel like liner will look nice, so we might. I feel like I've been really, really proud of all of my looks lately. Which is good because sometimes you go through stages where you hate every single one. So to actually enjoy them is a very nice feeling. Okay, so there's two glitters in here. There's this one here called Litty and then there's this one here which is called Gemini. And I just can't tell... I think that one. I think we'll take Litty, which makes me sad because I was excited to use Gemini. But I think. Yeah, I've just got to find my. Oh, here it is. Okay. So, yeah, I'm just going to take a little bit of glitter primer. This is just the Makeup Revolution one. And we're just going to put it like on the outer corner, kind of. Just overlapping the um, shimmer and the black. Gonna go in. That's beautiful. I really want to see more of these in the next palette. See these glitters. They are very pretty. So I'm probably just gonna bring the glitter along about that much because we will have to go back over it. We'd like the shimmer to kind of blend it a little bit so it doesn't look so stark, I guess. But yeah, I really, really like that glitter. I think that looks very pretty. I think we made the right choice. Going with the litty shade. Sad as I am that we couldn't use Gemini. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I really like this pressed glitter formula. Um, so hopefully they bring more of these into future palettes. Okay. Now I'm just going to take the glitter off the brush, go back into Dragon and just like sit it over the top of the glitter and kind of blend it I guess as much as I can. Obviously there's only so much you can do to kind of blend glitter. Put it just at the edge. Okay and then what I might do is just take the black again very very sparingly kind of re-intensify it because I didn't do too much because I was quite scared. But I just really kind of want to darken the outer part. I'm just blending the edge. I think I'm going to do liner as well. So this is how the eye look is looking. I'm going to go off camera. I'm going to do some liner, lashes, all that kind of stuff and then I'll come back to show you the finished look. But so far I'm I'm very impressed. Um, see, you, see you soon. Okay, this is the finished look. I'm currently like blinded at the moment because I just had to dig around in my eye for so long to try and get this eyelash out. So I can't see out of this eye at the moment, but this is how it turned out. I think it looks really, really nice. I'll just quickly zoom you in and show you how it looks. It is a very, very pretty palette. Um, so yeah, if you are, if you're thinking about picking that up, I highly recommend it. If you're a fan of Emrezi or Anastasia, or even if you just like the colors, you know, I don't think you will be disappointed. It's a very nice palette, but at the end of the day, it's $76, I think. So, it is quite pricey for a palette, but that's pretty standard for Anastasia. Um, but yeah, I really, really like, um, I really like this palette. Um, so yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed. Let me know what you think of this eye look below because I really quite like it. Um, but yeah, all other makeup details will be on my Instagram, but my lashes today are the Ruova Beauty Lashes in Spice. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.